Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a rehash of a video. Yeah, the channel seems to be getting old enough now that we have to actually rehash content. And today we're going to be talking about getting thousands of epic directives. This was a really popular video before, one of my most popular videos. I slammed the stats up on the screen. I'm so chuffed with how well this video did. Hopefully this one will do, do the same. So share out with your alliances and make sure that everybody's using this technique in order to be able to get directives. And just to prove to you how good this is for sourcing epic directives, if you go into other, scroll down on my account, you can see that I have almost nine and a half thousand epic directives. Now, I'm gonna break this down into a couple of different opt segments, because different opt segments are gonna have a slightly different strategy, but this is all with regards to pulling your Armada chests. That's what this video is all about. That's what we're gonna talk about. Share out with your alliances, and remember to really pay attention to the parts where I talk about different ops levels. So, Armada chests. This is where you are going to source, would you believe, epic Armada directives. I'm gonna talk about do's and don'ts of these chests. So, we have nine Armada chests. Three for G3, three for G4, and then three for G5 that we're going to be talking about today in some detail. Now, starting off with G3, the G3 Armada chests. Let's talk about this from an Ops 20 three when you can unlock your armada center all the way up to probably around ox 40. so this is where you are only going to see your g3 chests so your g3 chests there is no harm in you starting to pull your uncommon armada chest and your rare armada chest as much as you can as regularly as you can to start getting directives because these two packs you're going to see are going to be very very pivotal in sourcing directives so the uncommon armada pack, pending on the price, you want to be max pulling this every single day. Now, if you are on a lower server, if you are a lower ops level, if you're on a more historic server, but you're a lower ops level, ride some whale tail. Get somebody big in your alliance to start the biggest you can reach. If you're in your 20s, 30s, that's likelihood going to only be if you're sub ops 38 and you can't get into deep space, you're going to be stuck at the level 39 uncommons. So the level 39 uncommons, just to really quickly show you where that sort of thing is for the players that maybe don't know the way around the map quite as well. Up here in Fed Space, you will find a system called Groombridge. And there is one equivalent in Romulan and one equivalent in Klingon Space as well. But Groombridge, if we take a quick look in there, you will see these are the highest G3 Armadas in the game. So you have level 39 Uncommons, you have level 38 Rares, and you have level 39 Epics. Now, Armadas, really quick, uh, everybody, lots of people will know this. But if you don't know this, there are two main parts to the Armada. Uh, there's the actual Armada loot. Now, this loot is separated uh, and divided amongst your team based on the power you contribute so if five players all turn up with five one million power ships you will get exactly 20% of the loot because you have contributed exactly 20% of the power towards that armada once that split has been done of this loot everything else will then get multiplied on top of it so if you're using loot officers then use your card five of eleven Geordie, things like that if you're using that sort of um, stuff or even research then gets added on after this split has been done and then the other thing is the starters chests so when you start an armada you get a starters chest and you can also be lucky to get a participation chest as well if you are not the leader so if five of you turn up to an armada there will be two chests dropped one guaranteed for the leader and then one of the other random players one of the other random players then you will pick up the um subliminary participation chest as well the participation chests are not great they're okay they're a nice little bonus but the leader's chest is something that we're going to talk about today as being very very helpful to you so if you are a g3 player you need to be either tackling the highest physical armada that you can if you do have bigger players in your armadas i would imagine that decently leveled decently tiered g3 epics will be able to take on these armadas so if you are in the 20s early 30s or if you're in the 35 to 36 37 range something like that and you've got a team of epic ships you can probably take these armadas on providing that you use the correct crewing we're not specifically doing an armada crewing video if you'd like to see that drop that in the comments I'm more than happy to do a crewing video with relation to armadas but let's dive back back to the chests just a general strategy for which armadas to choose for you sort of 23 to 39 players always pull the uncommon armada chest max pulls every single day and it's not necessarily for the materials although they're nice or the officer xp or the token amounts of common uh, that you're going to get 
then it is purely for these the armada directives so 5 10 20 or 100 armada directives you're pulling two chests so you've got the opportunity of getting anything up to with a double chest 200 rare armada directives a day i've never seen that on average this is an average you will pull between 10 and 20 armada directives a day some days you will draw a blank some days you'll hit the lucky 100 i probably get that twice three times a year so don't bank on this but average you will get 10 to 15 armada directives a day on average and that's over like sort of a 30 day test 30 day test that we did we've averaged about 10 to 15 per day so if you think that's 15 a day over 30 days then and that works out at around 450 rare directives per month just from this chest. We do have another sourcing video if you want to. I will leave a couple links to this at the end of the video on how to source uncommon and rare directives because there are other ways to do this. But this one's specifically talking about epic directive sourcing. So you want to be pulling this uncommon chest every single day. Max pulls if you absolutely can. And you should be able to using the correct officers and making sure that you're hitting as high as you physically can. Rare, exactly the same. You're going to be pulling this chest every single day. Every single day. You're going to be pulling this as much as you can. If you can max out and do 30,000 every day, you should be doing that or whatever your costs are. Now, if you are in the 23 to 39 bracket, uh, your costs will not be 30 a day. So you don't need that much. You won't need to spend 30,000. But again, the reason that you're doing this, as much as the blueprints are nice, and obviously you may not see if you're at a lower ops level, the epic ships, the ships in this do change. Um, you're not doing it for the materials, again, that I've said on the speed ups or anything like that. You're doing it for these Armada directives. 15, 35, 70, or 250 directives. Now, this 250 does tend to drop um, much more than the 100 rare drops from the uncommon chest from our testing. I probably get this once a month. So it's probably two to three to four times more effective uh, in terms of the drop rate on this. We don't have a little eye, so I can't tell you the exact stats for it. But on average here, we're getting around 70 per day for me i'm getting between 70 and 100 a day average pulling six chests so obviously the likelihood on the 15s and the 35s is obviously a little bit higher we are going to pull these towards the end of the video and i'm going to show you my daily run uh, of these rare directives but because it's a daily chest again you'll be pulling this as much as you physically can obviously you're talking at the moment about 20s and 30s the epic pack you should be pulling this every single time you have the opportunity once you hit ops 38 38 this is because the iss jellyfish will appear in this chest starting at ops 36 starting at ops 36 however ops 38 you open up this little beauty here the opportunity of a full pull of a jellyfish now the jellyfish is not as prevalent or important as it used to be however for a player that is going into the 40s because you're at that point where you get to 38 39 going into the 40s once you unlock the jellyfish you will then start being able to get um jellyfish brawl jellyfish brawl is a fantastic event that allows you to get decent amounts of um parts going into for, for explorers and gas g4 gas g4 or it's a really good event it runs twice a month as standard um over the last sort of eight to ten months worth of the game and the jellyfish is really un to be used for that do not bother tearing this jellyfish up quick pro tip for you a tier one level five jellyfish is all that you really need until you get into the 50s and you're going to start considering scrapping these which is a whole new conversation but you want a jellyfish for jellyfish brawl leave it at level five tier one don't spend g4 on it but you want it for that but don't start pulling this chest until you get two ops 38 and you've got this full pull opportunity in there now if you've got buckets and buckets loads of loot if you're sat there with five two three four five hundred thousands worth of loot and you're at ops 33 34 yeah pull a few do you know what i mean get a few credits and things like that by all means but start to bank up ready for when you get to the 40s and i'm going to talk about that in a second so that is the g3 so now let's talk about a player that has gone to up 40 40 plus all the way up to ops 50 Again, the advice does not change regarding uncommon and rare. You want to be max pulling these every single day. The epic chest, you now want to be starting to be a little bit more conservative with it because your focus now in the 40s is the G4 epic pack. And the reason you want the G4 epic pack, I'm going to go through in a second. The G4 uncommon and the G4 rare armada packs that you see, you might start to think, wow, this is good. We've got new packs. Let's move on to these. Let's forget the G3. I'm now a G4 player. These two ignore for the entirety of your game. 
These are absolutely useless to you and they are just not worth pulling. They are so expensive. Mine, for example, four chests, 800,000 loot. 800,000 loot. Now, I know I'm sat here on 4.6 million. But obviously, don't forget I can hit the G5 Armadas, which is different. Um, and anything, the only time that I would sanction anybody pulling this chest in my alliance when they ask for advice would be when you get to Ops 49. Up to Ops 49, you do not get a guarantee of 450 rare tactical cores. Now, rare tactical cores are key to your progression as it says here these are going to allow you to upgrade your armada control center past level 39 they are needed for every level from ops 40 all the way up to the max of this building at the moment which is currently level 50 you need them for every single level and it's, they are really important and really difficult to source and before you get to ops 49 you do not see 450 guaranteed cores it's somewhere in the region of 150 cores so don't bother ignore this chest i know it's tempting you're looking at it getting one or two bundles of 5 of 11 or something like that but what i'm going to do now is move on to the epic pack so the epic pack this is where you should be spending 100 percent of your epic loot Providing, this is the caveat, remember we're still in the 40s bracket, providing that you have unlocked a jellyfish. If you have not unlocked a jellyfish, then you should still be continuing to pull the G3 epic pack on every single opportunity that you can do this. This is on a seven day cooldown. Seven day cooldown. Again, cooldowns on this uncommon is one day on the G3. The rare is one day. The, the epic armada is seven days. Um, so it is quite a long slog. So again, you should only be spending in the 40s, providing that you have a jellyfish, you should only be spending your epic credits on the G4 pack. And this is because this pays out a much higher quantity of the rare tactical cores. So you want to be trying to pull one, two, three of these, as much of this as you physically can. And again, I'm going to talk about something towards the end of the video about a strategy to get more credits than what you maybe potentially should be getting at your um, ops level using ships and using the starters chests. So pay attention for that at the end as to why this is actually a genuine strategy. But use this chest to get these rare cores. Again, it's quite nice. You do get blueprints in here. Uh, obviously, these will start off with the 41 miners. You get the 42 uncommons. Eventually, you'll start seeing these, the 46 rares, and then obviously the epics. Uh, they do drop in as you progress through the ops level. Decent chunks of um, faction credits as well, which is always nice. Rare materials are nice. Obviously, up to 300 rares. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. The materials in these are not awful in this G4 rare. And the cooldown on this is only three days. So it's less than half the time what it is on... Sorry, the G4 epic pack is only a three-day cooldown, unlike the G3 epic which is seven days so you can pull it much quicker so you do go through loot a lot faster bearing in mind it was five thousand for a double pull on the g3 a single chest for me is eighty thousand this starts at around thirty forty thousand uh, when you go into the 40s if i recall so pay particular attention to this g4 epic pack really important to you so that's a strategy for when you are 40 plus all the way up to 51. now this epic pack stop pulling it once you can get your Armada Control Center up to level 45. I'm going to quickly dive into stfc.space. And here we see the Armada Control Center itself. So the Armada Control Center, all the way up to up to, all the way up to level 39, requires you to just use standard cores, which, which, we, which we've talk, talked about. So it's going to use regular Armada Tactical Cores. Once you go to level 40, it needs 400, 650, 1300, 1952, 6, all the way up. And they keep increasing up to the last few levels, which are really tough. So level 47 requires 18,000, 27,000, 36,000, and then the big one, 90,000 rare cores to go from 49 to 50. You may be asking, why is this important? Why is this important? There are two current locks in the game which stop you from progressing to different ops levels because of the Armada Control Center. So the Armada Control Center requires you, sorry, your ops progression requires you to be at Armada Control Center level 45 in order for you to go to Ops 51, it is a prerequisite of getting to Ops 51 to have this building here at level 45. So stop 
claiming that epic chest and I'll explain why in a second once you get your armada control center to level 45 so obviously you need to be up 45 for that so between 45 and 50 there is no real need for you to pull that g4 epic chest start saving credits at that point start saving epic credits at that point and then what happens is you then have the second lock, which is stopping you. You need this Armada Center to be at level 50 in order for you to get from Ops 56 to Ops 57. So you can see mine's level 50 and I was able to go 57 because of that. So that chest, you pull it starting at Ops 40 when it appears for you at every single opportunity, every single opportunity uh, until you get to Armada Control Center 45 then stop because again the contents within it are okay the contents within it are okay but it is far more valuable for you to save it for when you get to 51 and you can start pulling these g5 epic packs which i'm going to talk about in a second so this is an ops 40 to ops 45 strategy so pull this as much as you can get your armada control center to 45 and then just start sitting on the credits now don't look at it and think well i could get a full pull of a newton i've only ever seen one full pull from this chest and these chests have been out for three years, two years, two and a half years, however long these have been out, a long time. And I've only ever seen one pull in, the in that time in the game. And that was a Hector, and that was really early on. That was really, really early on. So don't think that I'm, you're missing out on boat tons of resources. You will thank me for it later when you can really go ham on the G5 chests. So that's a strategy on the G4. Now, whilst you have been able to keep up with your G4 epic chest, um, if you're then in a position where you're starting to have a Boku amount, amount of loot and you can maintain max pulls on this and you're keeping going until you get to 45, then go back and start pulling this Armada chest, the 5,000 on the G3, to start building up some jellyfish blueprints. You're going to get the odd badge that you might need for officers, a few little faction credits, and it's not a drop. It's merely a drop in the bucket. 5,000 credits for two chests every week. It's a sheer drop in the bucket. But just start to build this up and then use this chest to start sourcing jellyfish blueprints because eventually you are going to use that jellyfish to scrap it to get massive rewards. You can actually make, make money wrong term make materials make parts you can actually profit from scrapping a jellyfish g4 to g4 you get more g4 back for scrapping a jellyfish eventually and um, than what you actually physically put in there are a couple of other caveats to that but again that's not what this video is about but that's why you want to keep going and getting these you can see i've already got two of these built and i could build another four jellyfishes because i've maintained this strategy so g4 players recap uncommon every single day Rare Armada pack every single day for the G3. Epic Armada pack, do not pull it unless you are easily maintaining the G4 Epic pack. The G4 Rare, the G4 Uncommon, ignore it completely. Utter garbage. The G4 Rare, by all means, pull it if you are Ops 49 and you are in need of tactical calls and that guaranteed 450 is going to do something for you and you have a lot of loot. But the priority here is being able to maintain a daily pull on, if you've got 2 million credits, then you may as well pull a couple of the G4 rares because it's going to take you a hell of a long time at 30,000 a day to go through it. Yeah, so you can pull a couple, but just do not leave yourself short. Start banking up ready for the G5 chests. So important for you because what you're after is the epic directives. And I'm going to show you how my pulls go in a second, again, at the end of this video. If you're liking this content, please drop a subscri subscription to the channel. Please sub up to the channel. That'd be really helpful. We are on our push for 2,000 subscribers. Uh, we're doing really well towards it. I think we hit 1650 yesterday or the day before. So doing really well, 350 to get to our next goal. So share it out with your teams. Press the sub button. Really, really nice. If you'd like to join the channel, you have the option of becoming a member. Um, I've got some cheaper options. We've got some um, slightly more expensive options if you want to support the channel on a mon monthly basis. This, click the join button down below and become a member of the channel and i will be eternally grateful for that moving to g5 realms so once you hit ops 51 once you hit ops 51 these open the g5 uncommon rare and epic packs and this is what the current um leading edge of the game uh, obviously are pulling to get massive rewards out of them and these packs have been very very useful and very very good for me now these packs you will pull them as and when you physically can you want to be trying to maintain as much of you can out of these chests um, and at this point once you get past 51 you still continue sounds crazy you still continue to pull the uncommon and the rare packs and the reason that i'm really stressing these g3 packs is because remember when we were talking about the numbers so 15 35 72 50 you look at the g4 rare pack instead as a comparison 5 10 15 20 
it's so l much lower for so much more loot so you are going to get miles more directives out of pulling that other chest that other rare is so important for you getting epic directives and likewise if you go to the g5 rare pack they're not actually any better. You actually get the option of 5, 10, 15, or 20 again. So the source of Epic Directives, the main source of this, is going to be using the G3 pack, and that remains a staple throughout the entire game for every single player. Don't think you're not G3 anymore, you can leave it focus on them massively the g5 epic packs are really good this is where you're going to be getting 2000 rare cores uh, guaranteed per chest this does scale a little bit it starts off at about 1800 and i think it goes um, uh, up to around two and a half when you get to 60 uh, obviously you can't get it's pointless than being in there for me now i don't need them my my amatic center is now full so i don't really need them in there so it's not important once you get to ops 57 you've finished uh, the current loop of using rare tactical cores and um, but this g4 i'm the chest allowed me to speed up um i probably did two to three levels the last two or three levels which are the big levels uh, since g5 armada's launch which was only about three months ago so you can see how quick it is to actually attain them from this so pull this every single time that you can as much as you can um However, this is the first chest as well. G5 is the first time where there is a reverse, a reverse efficiency for pulling multiple chests. Not great. Don't love it. But every other chest, so if you go all the way back to G3, and let's look at the G3 rare pack. The G3 rare pack was 5,000 for one, 30,000 for six. It was exactly the same cost per chest, no matter how many that you pulled. You go into G4, exactly the same. G4 rare, 200,000 per chest, four chests for it. It's exactly the same cost per chest. Once you get into G5, there is reverse efficiency. So one chest is 600,000. Two chests is 1.8 million. So three times the costs for only double the reward. So this is where you start to sit and consider whether you just make your loot last longer uh, and obviously go for the single chests, which are still decent. That's what I did, by the way. Uh, single chests all the way. Uh, and these are on a three-day cooldown, which is not too bad. Not too bad. You're going to pull these every three days in 600,000 loot. And again, I'm going to show you uh, the benefits of um, using your larger players in your alliance if you are able to make sure that you are maximizing the amount of credits that you get from your loot. So G5 players, pull the G5 Epic when you can, pull the G5 Rare when you can, try and do them every single, every three days to be able to do that. Um, and I would focus on the one chest only. Uncommon packs. So we haven't talked about uncommon since G3. The G3, every single day, remains a staple to be able to get your Rare Directives, about 400 to 450 Rare Directives per month. Only pull the G4 uncommon packs or the G5 uncommon packs if you have a shed ton of loot. So you think at 25,000 a day, that's all I can spend on the G3. There's no point me not pulling this chest. So every now and again, I will pull this chest like I'm going to pull it today and I will still have 2 million loot. So that's still hundreds of days worth of pulls out of the G3 chest. So don't sit there with 10, 15, 20, 25 million uncommon loot. That's just a waste. Pull it. And if you've got the G5 chests, these are far better than the G4 chests. So definitely pull them. You're going to get a few extra rare directives out of it. And you're going to get some okay G5 materials. Not awful. Um, so definitely pull these, but only pull them. Do, sorry, do not pull them. Expense of being able to pull your G3 chest. Only pull this chest if you are still going to have enough to be able to maintain your G3 chest. So don't run yourself down too low. So that's the general strategy for getting these thousands of directives that are really easy. And we're going to work through now and we're going to actually pull these chests after I've explained to you how to do this. Now, if you are a lower level player and you are up 38 plus, and let's say you've got a Voyager or something like that, what you're going to do, the strategy for getting the most Armada loot as you physically can is by hitting the highest Armadas that you can. We said this in G3, where up to 38 you're going to be capped out at those systems that i showed you earlier in the video if you have a voyager or a fisher or something like that you can get out into g4 even eventually g5 space even if your ships can't carry them if you have players in your alliance that are able to kill those ships you can use the warp range on those particular ships uh, to be able to start the armada and i'm going to pull a chart up now to, to explain why here we go. So a massive shout out to Blue Mandalorian and Jules Verne for putting this sort of stuff together. Uh, if you want access to this chat, it is now Discord. Link to our Discord is in the description of the video down below. While you're down there, please leave a comment. Let me know if you found this useful uh, or helpful to you and whether it's made you change your game with relation to um, how you are going to pull Armada chests uh, and obviously think about your level progression as well. So what this chest is showing us is it's showing us exactly what warp range is needed to get to certain Armadas and then it's showing us the leader's chests that are available 
available within the particular armadas. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to stick with the G4 armadas as a uh, as a talk because that's where the majority of players are. The average level in the game now is around 45, 46. So we're going to work on um, the G4 armadas. So look at this. So let's say, for example, you can kill a level 42 um, epic, a level 42 epic for it, for example. So if that's what you can kill with with your team uh, of like-minded players, you're going to get 22,000 for your leader's chest, and then it's going to be split out. Now, if you can, if you are able to go and hit higher, take your Voyager, because Voyagers have a huge warp range. If I just quickly pop my Voyager in here, now my Voyager is currently tier 11, so obviously this will be skewed a little bit, um, but my Voyager currently has a warp range of 761. But even at lower levels, it will get all the way to the end of G4 space. It will get You only need warp 185 to reach the top armadas in G4 space. I'm just doing to quickly show you where those are. So if you go into G4 space, the three epic 51s that i'm going to be talking about are in these three systems so the first one they are in rylan the second one they are in arellan and then the klingon ones are here in inos that's where no they're not <laughs> they're in tej look <laughs> that's where the three epic 51 armadas are and these armada spawn timers um, have been drastically reduced they are now somewhat in line with the g3 armadas meaning they should spawn approximately once every hour and i bet if i go to my server which is a relatively mature server it's a day one server i bet the epic will still be in here See if it proves me wrong. There it is. The Epic 51, it's there. This is the Armada that you're going for. So the loot in this is 106,000. Remember, if you're bringing a Voyager and you're like 5% of the loot, sorry, 5% of the power contributed to this Armada, you're only going to get 5% of the loot. Okay, which sounds pants. You're going to get about 5,000. You get more by killing the 42, right? But no, it's all about the leader's chest. Take your highest warp vessel, crew it up for cargo, Jean-Luc Picard, five, data on one side... If you haven't got that, try like a Geordie-based crew with five on the other side. Run a loot crew because you're not going to get a massive amount from the physical loot. But where you're going to benefit, you start this armada, you will get the leader's chest. That is guaranteed. And the Epic 51s are paying 981 thousand 98.1 thousand now you can get slightly more for your directives by hitting the cardassians you get 100 000 for hitting the epic 50s in the cardassians and they are only warp range 170 but again you will need to be carried now even though this is a lower level 50 compared to 51 they are approximately 10 times harder to defeat so the team that can kill the 51s will need to be a lot stronger to be able to kill the cardassian level 50s and just show you where the cardassian level 50s are if you're not one 100%. They are currently in only one system up in Cardassian space, and they are here in Rudelia. So if I send this out here, and I will show you. Oh, it's not a fog of war. I forgot. So these, obviously, they only have a, they have half the amount of base loot in them. But again, we're not talking about this loot. We are talking about the starter chest. The starter chest in these armadas are 100,000. About. 1900 more credits in there so slightly more but not much so take your highest warp range ship your highest warp warp range ship get a team behind you that can run it they can kill it they benefit so you are helping your whales out or helping your bigger players out because they're going to get a bigger portion of the actual loot within the armada so they're benefiting from your directives that way but you are getting the most bang for your armadas the biggest bang for your buck by getting the most out of the leader's chests as what you physically can so concentrate on that so that is the general strategy that is how you get the loot that is i know it's been going a bit while so i have a 20 odd minute video please leave a comment down below if you like them um i will now show you the armada chest pulls as to what i'm going to do so true to form we are going to do the uncommon that we do every single day let's hope we have some good luck while we're on screen 15 as i said you get between 10 15 a day in rare armada directives that's around average i would expect from the rare to get anything around 70 to 150 that's approximately average for six chests of these 175 slightly over average so if i pulled that for the next two two days i'm then going to have a full epic start really good and then the epic because we've got it free we're going to pull it because i'm at that stage in the game remember watch this video a couple of times if you didn't pick up everything we've got six jellyfish blueprints so we've got one thirtieth of a jellyfish not bad from this one pull few directives uh sorry a few um faction credits about two and a half thousand faction credits nice little bit of g g3 and g4 nothing's gonna pull up any um massive shakes 
and an enterprise blueprint. Now, you do tend to get some more blueprints from that, uh, but not too bad. And these come in handy for something as well for faction hunt, which again, potentially, if you don't know what I mean by the faction hunt trick, if you are in the late 40s, early 50s, drop it in the comments if you think I know what I mean by why this is really good for faction hunt. Let me know down, down in the comments. G4 Uncommon, G4 Rare, we ignore completely. The G4 Epic, because I'm in a position where I've got plenty of loot, I'm going to continue to pull this. I'm going to continue to pull this because I'm at the point where I don't need the tactical cores. The faction credits are more important to me now. So I now pull this. I four chest pull it. It's only 300,000 loot. You saw I had over 3 million. And I do run things quite regularly. got a Tribune blueprint, five Newton blueprints. Little chunk of four star, but this is what I do it for. So about 10,000 faction credits from pulling that. Decent. About 10,000 faction credits. They're useless to me now. Unless to bring out something else. And about 200 rare as well. Nice. The G5 Uncommon. We are going to pull it because we have 3.4 million per chest. I've got 5.4 million. That saves me 2 million to continue to pull the G3 Uncommon chest. So we are going to pull it. And let's see what we get. So one chest, we've got four epic, we've got four rare directives, okay, and we got about what, about five, six hundred, six hundred and forty, um, G five uncommon, not too bad, a few parts, a few rare parts, uh, and a couple of decent repair speed ups as well, not awful, but I'm not bothered whether I do or don't pull this, it's just not that important to me. The G five rare, we are going to pull, and again, I'm gonna stay true to my word, we're going to pull one chest out out out, out of this. And we're pulling this not necessarily for the Armada directives because we only got 10. But you can see we've got a command badge very sought after. We've got a command but very sought after. Now this chest, we got some Picard Admiral chart, yeah, some Pick Admiral shards, some Pick Wharf shards. You can get the Doctor from this. So again, the officer sourcing for this is good for the Doctor. We got some more faction credits. So what do we get there? 5,900, 6,000, 7,200 fa faction credits from that. Wow, and some decent repair speed ups. Really happy with the faction credits. You are going to need so many faction credits for ships uh, as you crack on with things. And again, the rare cores don't mean anything. And then the G5 chest, we're going to pull a single chest again. Even though we've got enough to do this, we're going to keep going. If I had 10 million loot, I'd probably double pull it. Because I've got about eight, nine pulls worth of this, um, I'm just going to single pull it. And let's see what we'll get. So we got three Sanctus blueprints, three Northcote blueprints, five Nova blueprints. Look at look at the faction credits. We got fifteen thousand faction credits from these. Lots of repair speed ups, and we got four thousand G5 uncommon, one hundred and twenty rare, just from a single chest. I will point out that there is a prime uh, that can improve the um, payouts on these chests, which I'll show you now as a final thing. So here in the Galaxy Tree, we can see we have a Prime Armada Refinery. Prime Armada Refinery uses their Prime Valor emblems. And what this does is this adds an extra refine. So basically meaning rather than me getting one or two chests, uh, it means I would go up to getting two or three chests for the same costs. It's £100 or equivalent in your, in your currency, whatever it is to get that. Um, it's decent. It is decent. I will point out, obviously, if there are some spenders out there that want to think about somewhere to put some money, it is a decent prime for you to do. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you found this useful. But this is the best way for you to farm epic directives. I'll give you a few little armada tips in there as well as we've gone along. If you found it useful, please press the like button. Please share this with your alliance. And again, obviously, there are three different main sections to this, 23 to 39, 40 to 49, and then obviously 50 plus. They're the three main sections that I've gone through. Hope you found it useful. Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We are going live on Tuesdays on Twitch, so follow the Twitch. Link to that is down below if you want to catch us live or ask me any questions while we are live. More than happy to answer those. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and remember, guys, that everything is better with lube. Take care and have a wonderful day.